Hey! <laughs> I'm standing outside the Maths and Physics building and like everywhere else in the country, it's absolutely blanketed with snow. Snow, snow everywhere. I love snow. I was spent yesterday building snowmen and watching as snowflakes fell from the sky, collecting them on my hands and gloves and showing my kids who got very, very bored very quickly at just how excited daddy could get about snow. But what we're gonna try and do is look at snow in a little bit more detail. I'm gonna collect up a, a cup full of it, bring it in to our resident electron microscopist who's gonna use an electron rather than an optical, an electron microscope to look at the fine detail, the structure of the, of the snow. It's a real shame that it's not snowing at the moment because that's by far the best way because when they impact on the ground, you generally lose the crystal structure or much of the crystal structure of the snowflake. But let's, let's see what we can do with this. Let's see if we can see anything interesting at all. So what Chris is doing at the moment is he's putting liquid nitrogen in so we can actually keep this sample nice and cool so the ice doesn't melt while he's, while he's imaging it. So here it comes in, it's loading onto the, the sample stage. And so as he's loading it in, what we have up here, this is the column down which the electrons come, the electrons that we use for imaging. But what we're going to do is we're going to have the sample down here. We have those electrons that strike the sample here, and then we get electrons which are backscattered off. And we're measuring those electrons with the detector here. And it's with this that we actually build up the image. So what Chris is doing here is now progressively zooming in to look at the structure of this snow sample that he's put in here. This, this bar here, this particular bar, is, is at, the, at the moment, you can see it keeps changing. It's a millimeter across. So that gives you an idea of the scale that we've got here. Now Chris is going to keep moving in, zooming in, zooming in, looking for interesting regions. Yes, there we go. The problem is, of course, getting it into the microscope. But well, first of all, it's fallen on the ground, so we're not looking at pristine snow crystals here. Mm -hmm. so there's the there's, yeah, there's there. one. Yeah. Can you zoom in here? That's, yeah. that's a really nice. So you can see a facet. So, yeah, so you can really see the crystalline structure really, really quite neatly here. And this is 50 microns across. Oh, no, about there. That's about 50 microns. So, again, about the, the width of a human hair. Not down here. Yeah, so there we go. So now we're starting to see the, the, the hexagonal structure that we'd expect for ice crystals. But you can certainly see the facets. You can see the angles. OK, so over here, we're, what we're actually looking at are the crystal faces of, of snow, of snowflakes. It's, it's really remarkable the amount of detail we've got here. You can see the facets. It's incredibly smooth. And what Chris is going to do is going to write this wonderful Christmas greeting on the end of one of these facets. He's going to use um, a focused ion beam to do that. So this is about the, the, the facet here is about 50 microns across. That's roughly, very roughly, the width of a, of a hair. And he's going to, to, to write that directly on the end of this snowflake, basically. It's basically being written by pummeling ions, charged particles in a beam into the, into the ice, just basically driving them in and ablating off of material, scattering off the, off the, off the ice. Oh, hey! <laughs> All right. Fan bloody tastic. Uh, hang on. Right, improve the contrast. Yeah, right? <laughs> can you measure, Chris, actually? Can you, yeah. can you measure? Excellent. OK, so Merry Christmas is 100 microns across, so that's about the width of human hair. 